Voltage has won Romania's national selection for Eurovision with the song De La Capat, which he has converted to a Romanian English blend called De La Capat all over again. You guys, is Voltage electric and do you want to be shocked? Uh, it's a pretty song, but also it's pretty forgettable. So I don't see its chances as very strong for the semi final. I think it needs to be shocked by the laugh. I mean, it's kind of, it's lovely, but it's a little bit dull as well at the same time. Um, I think it's it's an interesting choice because it's something that Romania really haven't sent for a while now, something like that. Um, and it might be the first time they need Kruggles to get out of the semi-finals, but their televote support is so strong usually, I don't think that it will harm them too much. But the song, as it as I say, it just doesn't really work for me. Does it excite me? Yeah, I'm still not over that Lara Lee didn't win in uh, Romania. So, um, yeah, that's my problem about liking the song. Uh, it was a good I- idea to do an English-Romanian version because the English version alone would be bad and the Romanian alone version as well. So it was a clever thing. It's beautiful, it's really lovely, but and it has a good draw in the semi-final, so I think they will really go to the final. But I'm, I'm not sure, it's just in the middle again. It's not, a, it's not amazing and it's not really bad. It's just there and it's good, but I don't know. Now, as you guys know, the message of this song is real, real powerful. It's all about migrant Romanian workers who have to leave their children at home when they go work abroad. I find it really touching, even if you don't know what they're singing about. Like, in the Romanian final, when he started singing, I felt something. And that's a lot more than I can say about most of the songs in the semifinal. And I think people at home are going to feel that as well. Um... Yeah, I don't mind the language switch. His pronunciation is so bad. I actually thought he was singing in Romanian. <laughs> it took me a few minutes until he got to all over again. Then I knew he was singing in English. Um, I think this is going to do better than people think. I think it's going straight to the final. I think, yes, it faces all these former Soviet republics, but the song is strong enough to go through. And he also has a good voice. Like, he's well known in this band is well known in Romania. They can sing, they can perform. I just, I'm feeling really positive about this. I think I would be positive for it to qualify, but not positive about its chance of scoring on the right. I mean, I think this is kind of like, you know how Balkan Girls, everyone was hyped about that in 2009, and then it did terribly on the night? I feel like the same is going to be true. I mean, apart from maybe 12 from Moldova, I think Romania is really going to struggle on the scoreboard on the night. Like, I don't see this breaking the record of qualifying. It's just not spectacular. And we're kind of used to Romania pulling out miracles. And keep in mind that it, whereas Italy might usually give a lot of televotes to Romania, they're probably going to be giving it to Albania this year with El Haida. So that's another set of votes that they can't necessarily rely on. But again, I don't think that they're going to struggle to get out of the um, out of the semifinals. Like if they use a, a great background with children's or something that would, what touches you, I think that would be a really good thing for the song. It could really make it up and people would, would would get it if 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 they have this background. So I don't think that they will stay in the semi. They will go directly to the final and will do great hopefully. The the national selection or sorry, at the national selection, Voltage had suitcases all over the stage and I thought it looked a little cheap. Um, I'm hoping that for Eurovision they get rid of the suitcases and instead focus on the backdrop, kind of like the music video. In the music video they convey the message of the song by saying X million number of Romanians work abroad leaving their children at home. Like doing something simple like that would be very effective and people will instantly get the message. And it's not cheesy, it's like, I don't know, I feel like some songs go with a message and you're just like, oh, please stop beating me over the head, this is painful. But this, I don't feel that way about this. It just, I don't know, Eurovision's about Europe, about interconnectedness, and this shows the negative aspect of being interconnected in a sense that people lose their families because it's so easy to go away. Um, in any event, what do you guys rate this out of a 10? I'm giving this a 4.5 purely because it doesn't really stand up from the back of me. Like, it's a lovely song, but against, like, a year full of ballads, this was, like, the wrong year for Romania to dump their typical standard of sending a dance floor banger. Like, if anything, we really needed them to kind of book Inner or get, like, Ovi to produce a dance floor hit, and they haven't done that for the first year in God knows how long. Um, I'm going to give it a 5.5. This is a really lovely song. You can't deny that, I don't think. And it is 
the English Romanian switch has really helped it, so that probably pushes it up a bit for me. Um, and I do think it will get to the semi uh, through the semi finals, as we've said. Um, it just lacks that that kind of killer push that it would need to be up there with the likes of Norway in the kind of ballad stakes. Yeah, I will give it a five point uh, five out of ten uh, as well because I think it's a beautiful song, and if they th- if they really give all their best at the performance, I think it all depends on the performance. So um, yeah, it could surprise us in a good or in a bad way, but I really like it. Uh, it's in the middle for me, like a five point five. Yeah, I'm giving this an 8 out of 10. I like the change of pace. You know, in 2012, we had Zalela. In 2013, we had Caesar. In 2014, we had Paula and Ovi. These are all danceable songs. I'm glad to have something different, something with a positive message. Um, Yeah, for me, the fact they bring this message is more important than how they do. I give it an 8 for effort and because it is fabulous.